distributed property states whenever you have something outside the parentheses that multiplies to everything inside the parentheses. So the first way I taught you guys, and FOIL was like a little magic way, but here, this 4 I have to multiply it times every single term. Alright? Because rather than saying just having a first and a last, we now have like a first, a middle term, and a last term. So I'm going to have to multiply this 4 times w squared times 3w and times negative 6. So let's do that first of all. So 4 times w squared is 4w squared. 4 times 3w, actually let's write it out for you. 4 times w squared. Then you do positive 4 times 3w. Then you do positive 4 times a negative 6. Okay, so I multiply the 4 times everything. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Then, we have to do the exact same thing with now our w. So I multiply w times w squared, w times 3w, and then w times the negative 6. So when I do that, um, w times w squared gives me w times w squared plus w times 3w plus w times a negative 6. So let's just go and rewrite these out. 4w squared is 4w squared plus 4 times 3w is 12w plus 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. Then w times w cubed is going to be a positive w cubed or w times w squared. w times 3w is going to be a positive 3w squared and w times a negative 6 is going to give you negative 6w. So now we have this huge whole bunch of it, right? So now what we need to do is put it in standard form, and when we put it in standard form, combine like terms. So I'm going to underline with like terms. Is there any other term that has a W cubed? No. So I'm just going to write that right there. W cubed gets to stand by itself. We can't combine <coughs> with anyone. How about W squared? Do we have some W squareds we can combine? Yeah. So you kind of just underline W squared and W squared. Since they're both positive, we add them. 4w squared plus 3w squared is 7w squared. Now let's look at just w to the first power, just w's. Do we have two of those? Yeah, we do. 12w and a negative 6w. So it's positive and a negative. Positive 12w plus a negative, or just minus 6w is going to provide you with 6w, a positive 6w. And then is this my only number left? Yep, then minus 24. So that would be your final answer, multiplying a um, binomial times a trinomial. 